Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and today I'm going to show you such a simple card. It, it, it's just, you need to think about this concept and how you can apply it to your stash. So right now, take a look at this. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but I have used, uh, I've done some prep work on this with my uh, Jelly Roll Stardust Clear Star Pen. You'll hear me call it Clear Star, but but technically it's called a stardust clear and also my white pen just to add a little more interest so there's some shimmer in it and a little white and then I'm laying it out and looking at the different patterns that came in this collection so if you see there's some pink but the flowers are really the peachy color and then I like the green, but it has white. So we're going to set that aside because the background on the Believe in Yourself is cream colored. And it matches the um, cream in the peach colored paper. So I'm going, to head and, I'm going to go ahead and use that and lay it out and look at it. You'll notice that I've already rounded the corners. And I've gone with a 5x7 because this is a large card. And I used the craft colored cardstock for my card base because that's what I had. I didn't have any cream and I have tons of that other color. So I'm trying to use it up. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the front on to the second layer just so I have my pieces put together and you can see it. And I'm not going to round the second layer because I've thought forward a little bit on this card and I want to have... Uh, a little bulk in the edges because I'm going to use a rip, ribbon technique. But be sure and look at this card and think about how you could apply this to any floral paper you have and um, all of the options within it. There's so many different ways that you could do this, even if you don't have a sentiment that's printed onto your floral paper, you could still have another layer. It just wouldn't be put together like mine was. So when I was looking at this, I thought, okay, this, it still needs a little something. I mean, it's cute. It would travel well through the mail. So what I did was I fussy cut out a flower before I started the video and I cut it out of the sheet of floral. So imagine how many of these I could make, but I just did one and I had, I went through my sticker sheet and the stickers in this set didn't have those nice peach flowers in them. And they're shiny, so they're a little harder to add glitter and color to. So I'm just going to mount this uh, flower with a foam mount you could use. You could cut up a foam mount roll. You could use any kind of pop dot you have. If you don't have pop dots, you could use a glue dot, and it would give it a little more texture. Or you could just um, use any kind of glue and still have it a little bit taller. And I'm setting it down, but then it's covering the eye the dot in the eye so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit more fortunately I didn't push it down all the way so then I have that flower accent that has some shimmer some white and it's popped up off the page um, that will mail pretty well I think if you get too many buttons and things on it you have to be careful but that might get a little bent up, but it should still look good when it gets where it's going. So sometimes you want to keep that in mind if you're mailing a bunch of cards or if you're giving them to coworkers or friends or you're going to a birthday party. So now it still needs a little something and I'm going to add ribbon and it's a very narrow ribbon just because that's the one I have in cream. Uh, the This peach is very specific and so I couldn't find things that matched it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there before I layer my card together. And this is a great example of why it's a good idea to think about your card and finish your card front before you mount it to your entire card base. Because if you glue that down with some sort of permanent glue, then you can't wrap, glitter, you can't wrap ribbon or other things around it. Okay, so I'm going to put a tiny little glue dot under that ribbon to set it, and I've taped it to the back. Nothing fancy. You can use masking tape, scotch tape, any tape you have handy. You could use your fancy glues if you wanted to also. 
Um, so there I'm, I'm showing you the tape. And then I'm going to put uh, a bow on top of it. I just took a section of ribbon and tied it. It's much easier. It doesn't always show in cards and you can't tell. But uh, notice I'm putting the bow on the glue dot. And then I'm going to put the glue dot on the page. So uh, these are not the micros, but they're the minis. So they work pretty small for this size ribbon. And the trick to amazing bows and ribbons on cards is you'll find that many times they're separate pieces. It You can't always tell on the card, but it's a beautiful ribbon and bow and they are separate pieces. So don't uh, kill yourself trying to tie a bow around a piece of paper. So now you can see it's got the uh, popped up flower in the middle. It's got a bow and a ribbon. Super simple. Snowbirds, are you paying attention? Because you definitely have the supplies to make these happen. You could do that bow with embroidery floss. You could do uh, wrap your embroidery floss around a couple times if you wanted. There's all sorts of things you can do. So just apply it to a lot of different things and have fun crafting and be sure you're relaxing and not letting it stress you out. And thanks so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe.